below. This is very quick. Look at the Withings, now Nokia body cardio scales. These is a set of smart scales, really nicely designed, look really cool. I've got the white version, but other colors are available. There's really not much to them. As you can see, they are just a set of scales, but you will find a USB port and button on the side. The battery on this lasts absolutely ages. Charged via USB. I've had this for about six months, haven't had to charge it yet. Comes with a set of instructions to help you get set up and started, although it's pretty easy as you'll mostly be using the excellent app. That guides you through the setup process and the manual just helps you understand what kind of data you'll be able to see. The scales have a small screen on them and you won't need that straight away because you'll be using the app just to set this up. So you will need an account set up and once you've got that set up, you'll be able to uh, pair this with your scales and then set up the Wi-Fi connection. So you'll need your Wi-Fi password. Once that's all in place, you won't need to do this again because the scales will automatically talk to your account online. You can invite others to use your scales and you can also set yourself a target. So this will now show up in your app along with any other devices you have. It gives you battery level and various other settings you can play with. In use, very simple. You just have to get used to standing on them daily and the little screen at the bottom will give you your weight and from that it will identify the users. So you can use this with multiple users. Once it's given your weight, it will give you a nice little graph just to show you how you're doing on the, on the weight. It gives you your fat percentage and various other statistics will now be shown and you can edit which ones are shown or hidden via the app. It also gives you a little weather forecast so you can see if you're going to need an umbrella and it measures your heart rate and shows you your pulse wave velocity. Now, I don't really know what pulse wave velocity is and I have to admit after six months I still don't know what it is. They do a pretty poor job of explaining that to you. The data itself is stored in the Brilliant app. They've already put out a little notice to say, uh, although Nokia have taken over, they're still supporting all the Withings hardware. And as you go through the app, you can see all the different stats. Here's a section that allows you to show some stats and hide others. So if you aren't measuring your sleep, you don't want to see that. It will just show nothing. And when you go back into the main app, you'll see all the various statistics being shown. I really like the Nokia environment. They've picked up a great provider in, from Withings and they're adding to it. They've got these various programs that you can have. You've got all sorts of options for viewing your data. So here's a graph showing my data over time. Now I've had smart scales for quite a few years. So you can see I can zoom right in and then right back out over years. And you can see various body compositions. Now body water percent is new. So you can see that's only the last six months have been shown rather than the full four or five years that I've had smart scales. The website provides similar amount of information, so you can check it either on your app or you can log in on the website. So you can see it's got the timeline type view with daily steps. This has been pulled from uh, Google Fit because you can link your account up with all sorts, but you can quite easily go into the detail just by clicking through. And again, you can see a year long graph and you can zoom in on this. It's very nicely presented and you've got a lot of options, same kind of options as you had on the app. It's perhaps a, a little bit easier to see. It's worth noting that while the app and website and device look pretty slick, sometimes the device itself doesn't always collect measurements correctly. So it's normally on the heart rate one, you see it's got the X. And that means you either have to forego that particular measurement or step off and step on again. If you want to learn more about this product, I'll put a link in the description below. If you found the short review useful, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.